Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here, and welcome back to tutorial number 24. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use JavaScript to reference elements on your web page. So in the last tutorial, we learned about objects, methods, and properties. And I told you that we'll be actually using those quite a bit over the next couple of tutorials, just because everything in JavaScript is an object and it has methods and properties, okay? So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a method that belongs to our document. And what that method allows us to do is look for elements on our web page and then actually we can um, find them and change them okay so in other words if a paragraph says click me then i can change it to say something else later on okay so what we need to do now is we might as well actually just take a look at the method that we're going to use and the method that we're going to use is called get element by id and if you ever want to use this in javascript you have to use uppercase letters where i've used uppercase letters and like i said this is a method that belongs to our document object okay and what this method does is it'll search through our entire document and look for an element with an id of whatever we put in here okay so id goes in here whatever id is between these two quotation marks that is what we're going to be looking for okay so what we actually have to do is we need to put an element on our web page with an id that we can look for so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put in this paragraph and i'm going to give it an id of para okay and then i also want to just type in click me as uh, whatever goes inside my paragraph. So now if we take this ID over here, I'm going to copy it, and we paste it in between these two parentheses, what this line then means is go to our document, search our entire document for this ID, okay? And when you find this ID, that is now our new object that we're going to be working with. So in other words, this paragraph then becomes an object that we can work with, or, it's, or it always has been. We've just found it. This is how we find it, OK? So right now, this line of code actually means nothing in JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this, and I'm going to save this. And let's just run this in Firefox to see what it looks like, OK? Right now, we just have a little paragraph on the screen that says, click me. So nothing important. Now, however, we can actually write a function that will change the contents of this paragraph tag when we click on the paragraph, OK? So we're also going to be making use of an event. Uh, so I'll just make it on click. And now what this means is whenever I click on this paragraph, we're going to try run a little bit of JavaScript uh, code. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call a function. So if you guys don't know what um, this is, this is an event. And I spoke about events in a previous tutorial. So if you don't know what events are, you need to go back and watch that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to call this function. Okay, and this function doesn't exist anywhere yet. I still have to make it. Okay, so I could name this whatever I want, but keep in mind I have to make the function the exact same name as that call. Okay, so I'm going to call this function change, and I already spoke to you guys about functions in a previous tutorial, so if you guys don't know what a function is, you need to go back and watch that too. Okay. But now what we're going to do is we'll write a function that changes the contents of this paragraph, okay? 
So we can use our document.getElementById document.getElementById and we need to grab this paragraph okay um, so this is now how we can refer to our paragraph in JavaScript by using this exact uh, method but right now there's two different things we could do with this okay we could actually declare a new variable so var uh, paragraph or para and then we could set it equal to this okay and now whenever we, ref re we refer to our variable para we're referring to this code here okay so para or what we could have done was uh, instead of instead of doing that we could have appended on the property that we wanted to change okay so because this of this paragraph over here is an object it also has properties that we can change and one of the properties that we can change on this paragraph is something called the inner HTML okay and what inner HTML is well it's basically whatever goes between the starting tag and the ending tag okay so the inner HTML of this paragraph would be the words click me including all the spaces obviously okay so what we can do is we can uh, go back to our paragraph uh, variable over here and append on the property in a HTML and you have to use uppercase letters where I, wherever I've used uppercase letters and we can set that equal to whatever we want our paragraph to say after it was clicked so we can say that tickles or something I don't know maybe that's kinda cute uh, okay go ahead and save this and now when we go back to Firefox and click refresh we still only have this paragraph but now when we click it it should change so there we go that tickles okay okay so the reason why that happened was because we changed the inner HTML property of that object okay and like I said there were actually two ways to do this so the first way which we did was we declared a new variable called para and then we set our para variable equal to this little statement so now what happened was every time we wrote the word para or the variable para then we re uh, what the computer does is it actually replaces this text to be um, part of that so if we go ahead and say copy and uh, paste this here okay then that's basically how the computer saw that line of code as document dot get elements by ID para dot inner HTML so that is the other way we could have done this okay we could have just typed in that one line um, document dot get elements by ID para in HTML just like that and save this and that would have worked just fine too so when we go back and click refresh we've got the word click me and when I click on it it says that tickles so either or is fine but I like to just declare it as a variable most of the time because then instead of only being able to work with the inner HTML um, property I could change the property I could use uh, a completely different property and change my paragraph even more or do even more stuff with my paragraph so that's actually all I have for you guys in this tutorial but it was a pretty good one because we finally learned how to change something on our web page after the web page had been loaded which is like the whole point of JavaScript so we finally got there so 
I just want to say thanks for watching and if you guys found this video helpful then please comment and like the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and if you don't didn't subscribe already then why not I mean there's gonna be plenty more tutorials to come so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time